Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Just go for it. Well, one off, one off. Mm. My favourite thing about Josh is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, hey guys, it's Jazz. It's Josh. And welcome back to our channel. Welcome guys, and it's a special day, because... a big special one, because we've been going through quarantine, and I've got a little bit messy, um, as you can see. I don't I think so, I think it's great. But Josh wants a haircut. And it's going to be entertainment, so I'm going to pass you the scissors and the power to ruin my life. So we'll see, I, I'm confident in myself, actually. You are. I've never cut another guy's hair before, but I'm confident. I used to cut Barbie doll hairs and Brad's hairs. It's just the real human thing now. To be honest, I trust you more you than most me? people because you do look oh. after yourself, so you can look after me too. <laughs> no. So now oh. we're ready to cut. Oh, like this. And I'm super worried. This is the worry stage where I'm going to regret what I said. <laughs> Jazz is trying to set up the razor. <laughs> oh, like this? Which one do you prefer? Oh. Wait, this one or this one? So what, for the fun of it, I'm just going to let you decide, Jazz. Really? Yes, all Are you the, sure? the power is in your hands. I feel hands. like the finer one is better. Okay, the finer one it is. It's going to be a fade, so we're going to do a high fade and chop the top. That's a dangerous yeah, sentence so to say, excited. chop the top. I'm so excited. Okay, so a couple, maybe an inch. That okay. noise. But how exactly do you do you go like this? <laughs> <laughs> is that like, <laughs> like can I try on your back here? I hope you know what you're doing, Jess. Can I just try on your back yeah, here? Let's, let's, let's go for it. A little, little test here before we set you up for the real thing. Oh, Am I regretting it? I'm regretting what no, I've just said no. for you to do. It's, it's like this, right? Yeah. yeah. A little bit like that. Jazz, what, what else are we using? Scissors? Scissors. Scissors. I was gonna, I could have tested this on my legs, but I shaved my legs this morning. Legs are much different to a head, a human head. But this would be fun. You got this, Jazz? I can do it. You can do it. One, two, three. I, I can, can do, do it. it. You, you can, can do, do it. it. We, we can, can do, do anything. anything. Are you ready? Oh. Thanks for trusting me. Okay. This is currently our situation. I'm now in the hot seat. It's really hot in here because I'm really nervous. But we're gonna do a little Q&A whilst Jazzy, the mastermind, it's gonna do some work on my hair. So, it's like, ah, no, no, it's not even on. No, it's not on. Oh, it's it's having oh. It's not on. I know, but that cool. <laughs> so this is the current situation before. We've got a little bit of length on the top. RIP if this goes. Um, <laughs> but this is the thing about, ouch. <laughs> Okay. So I need to be very specific with Jazz at the moment. So we currently have a short back and size Jazz. We're going to do a, a fade. I'll leave it up to you. Electric razor. So we've got two guards, a number three and a number one. And then Jazz is going to do a trim on the top. I've just left it at that. So whatever I'm about to expect, it's nothing like my usual haircut, but this will be fun. <laughs> you never know. You never, just never don't know. have expectations. Just it trust kills me. happiness, doesn't it? So whatever I get, I'm gonna be happy with. Um, I, you know what? I'm really quite confident in you. My mum always cuts my dad's hair. My sister cuts her boyfriend's hair. So runs in the family. Jazz is taking lots of no's. I hope. <laughs> I trust it. I trust it. Good genes. It's passed down through the family. I hope it has. This is a serious matter now. So I'm excited. Oh, also with the questions we asked you on Instagram and we got them from your YouTube comments in the previous video as well. So yeah, we'll just be going through them. Throughout the haircut. Can I make a confession? Let's go. I've never used this before. <laughs> I think Jazz is setting the expectation it's not going to be so good, but it's actually it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a work of art. Right, Jazz? Oh! oh. Jazz! <laughs> it's, it's turning into oh, a machine. Sorry. Just go for it. We, we need to get a camera on the first. Okay, I'm going to film the front fine. bit from my phone. Okay. Oh. Ready? Just go, Jazz. Just drive hard. Is it meant to touch a skin? Yeah, yeah, it's meant to... <laughs> <laughs> I felt hair. I could feel it. Okay, I think I'm getting that idea. Get two hairs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> oh my god. That's fine, that's fine. So if all goes wrong, optimistic mindset here, I've got a month indoors. We can um, do this, we can do this. Get really nervous. <laughs> so show them the technique of the fade. Show them what you're about to do. <laughs> oh my god. I think the main thing is making sure the top isn't getting chopped off when you do the sides. Can I get witnesses in a minute? Can I twist around and just show everybody what you do? <laughs> I, need, I need witnesses. <laughs> yeah, just go, just go for it, go for it. Don't worry about me. Just started with a one. 
I don't know what that means. Oh man. Ah, okay. I'm, glad, I'm glad we did a practice feels... round. Positive, positive, positive. Again, positive. Yeah. I, I know positive. this is going to be right. Manifest, manifest the haircut. I think go for it. Like, literally, have an absolute day from the bottom to the top. Just, just, just go, like. Are you sure? Absolutely, yes, yeah. I couldn't do it. Oh, I just did it. Just go nice and, <laughs> nice and slow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice and slow and methodical. Like that? Yeah, that's good. I'm doing my best. I know you are, Chaz. It's going to turn. Let's see. Black. How's it looking? Ooh. Ooh. Fade. No, it's okay. No. The size, the size. So far, so good. It's not much pro is progress been made, Jazzy. Yeah. Feel okay. it. How does it feel? Feel it. Oh, it feels, feels good. There's a little bit uneven. Really? Yeah. Should, should, we, should we get the questions rolling? Okay. As we're going around the back? Yeah. Okay. Question time. I hope you can hear the hair coming off on the on the video. This is a great one to begin. I love this one. What's your favourite thing about each other? And La La Lia asked that one. Josh, you want to kick off? Favourite thing? My favourite thing about Josh. My favourite thing, well, everything. <laughs> okay, if I had to choose one. Well, one of, one of mm. my favourite things about Josh is how loving he is. Oh. Like your compassion, your empathy, that all counts. Oh, thanks, Jazz. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, mine. That's a really good question, by the way. I like that. And remember to affirm each other for what you love about each other. That's a really good relationship tip. I think for Jazz, it's mine. I've always said it, but your your patience oh. and your energy, because she's got this like soothing, ah, calming nature oh. that I I've never found in anybody else. I love that we're so compatible in our own way. Um, but your your energy, your soul. Okay, Jazzy, do you want to? Hair is all over. My <gasps> you asked this one out already. All over my head. How to know if he he is the right person? I will say she is the right person. So you first, Jazzy. You just know in your heart. You don't need to ask what anyone else's advice and you know that person is the right person because you just know in your heart. You feel happy around them, excited. You feel you are respected. You know that you share the same values. First, I got clear on how I want to feel in a relationship and the type of person I'm looking for. Make sure I embody all of that. And then it was so easy to know that you were the right one because I got clear on it all. It didn't depend on someone to fill some gaps and holes. Yeah, I can sense you've done a lot of self-work and, and I think we both, me and you both. Should we plant in it? <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, you blew oh, it no. off. Oh, so um, tea is hot in here. It's a bit hot. It's getting so hot in here. So, okay. I knew so, you were the right one because my intuition died. How I knew you were the right one. I think I, I went through my fair share of um, holding back from a serious commitment with any girl for years. And um, since all that time of my own self-development and being sure, I think I've never committed to someone like I have jazz. And the reason being is I just felt so so right, so aligned, like you say, with the values. You can see a life with this person that's fulfilling. They have this optimism, which is just so contagious. They are just there to complement who you are and let you be you unconditionally and authentically. And I've needed that because I'm a quirky weirdo. And to find a woman that actually accepts that and allows me to be just that is really important. And I found that refreshing comfort with no one but you, Jess. Um, so I think the idea of like feeling comfortable is knowing you're, you've committed to the right person. I feel accepted, I yeah. I felt really Mom accepted judgmental. by Josh, yeah. You deserve the world, Jazzy. I'm actually feeling a lot lighter, actually, Jazz. Are you really? Okay. By the way, my grandpa dies, my grandma's here. So sweet. Dies it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, have a feel, have a feel. A little bit, little bit rough. It is very, <laughs> <laughs> feels like a ledge. Oh my God, Jazz is getting too confident now. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. We've actually only got half an hour of light here, so actually there's going to be a time I'm pressure coming in. Nervous. We should have reverse engineered this. We should have done the top first. I think that's, that's the bit you're excited for, isn't it? How does it feel? Can you feel it? I need some feedback. There's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little uneven, but you know, I, I, I don't, don't worry about it. Just, just go for it. What? <laughs> Is that blended in? Hang on, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm hearing those like, <laughs> I'm getting scared every time. Okay, should we do three, third question? From Rebecca Loves Pizza, 
on Instagram. What's the most romantic thing you've done in quarantine? Have a spa together. Good point. Yeah. I think I'd say face masks. Oh yeah. Face masks is quite cute. We've got the hot tub going, didn't we Jazz? That's a good idea guys. Yeah, make sure you're doing like a bubble bath, sitting opposite each other, sitting with one, with nature. I think guys as well, embrace a face mask. It's a really good thing. Your, your face will transform. Forget the femininity aspect of face masks. But spa day, I'd recommend it. Oh, this is my luscious fringe now. <laughs> this, this is the, the, the prized possession at the moment. <laughs> I like how delicate and taking your time you are with this jazz. It's slightly yeah, it's delicate. It's important. Let's show you what I've done so far. Do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> jazz, I don't have a good side anymore. <laughs> well, I do, like I said, quarantine. Give this a little mushroom like Mario. It's hard. It's actually harder than it looks. How about let's cut the top first, then, then, then we'll fix the rest. Actually, here you are, Jess. There's another. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I was about to tell you the technique a little bit. But actually, I'll trust, trust you with the top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was said with a sigh. Here's a good question, Jazzy. You ready? How soon to move in as a couple? As a couple. You know when is the right time. In your heart, you know, and you don't have to compare yourself to anyone else. And, you know, there will always be people who will say, oh, it's too soon, or mm -hmm. you should wait longer, or it's been so long, why don't you move in each other already? And it's like, you can't take on other people's opinions, because mm -hmm. a relationship is between you and the other person, and mm -hmm. that's... That's all the opinion that matters between you and that other person. It was just right. I think we had this arrangement where we, we, we've tested each other out. I think Jazz stayed over mine, I stayed over Jazz's. So do your testing. Luckily, you know, Jazzy is a keeper. So I literally <laughs> ask yourself the question, what are you so afraid of? If she, she or he is the right one, then you should be able to be comfortable with each other 24 seven anyway, and know that you respect each other's boundaries and respect each other's energy. Even just giving it a go, give yeah, it a go. You, you probably learn way more about someone having spent 24-7 yeah. with them. Hello? Someone is on our ceiling. Just quick! <laughs> it's looking good. So I would say with moving in with someone, there is no one answer. You both decide what is right as long as you both agree. That's all that matters. So yeah, make it... Uh, Make up your own mind and be so sure in yourself. Should I use my paper scissors? <laughs> I am now turning into an art book. You did say it's a work of art, didn't you? I actually like it, Jazz. Yeah, I love it. Do you want me to get my big scissors? Be a big snack. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna get a reaction. Hey! <laughs> get you. I was too late. I was too late. Okay. Do you want the big ones? Oh my god. You look expert, Jazz. On to the next question. What's your plans after quarantine? Travel plans? This was asked by a combination of Monica Pandy and Kira Leah. You take the lead on that one. Most likely we will do the Gili Islands because it's so close to Bali. It's like one of my dreams to like travel with a loved one to Gili. Jazz's birthday is coming up, so it could be a little surprise. Well, I've just ruined that. <laughs> Gili don't, Islands. Don't touch your hair. It's fantastic. Don't touch your hair. There's three islands on Gili Islands. So you have Gili T, Gili Chagawangan, I've said that correct. Gili Trawangan. Trawangan is a party island. Uh, Gili Air, my, our favourite, I guess, Jazzy, is that yeah. right? It's blissful, you see like the mountains in the background. And then Gili Meno, I've never been, so it's going to be a brand new experience for both of us. Yeah. Gili Meno is known as the like romantic one, isn't it? We're doing a bucket list um, mm -hmm. of things to do in the future. What's the, what's the, the one you want to highlight on that list, Jazz? A kiss in front of the Eiffel Tower. I'd love to do something higher during a limb with you, I think skydive. I know it's so cliche. I am, I am. Life. But holding your hand though, won't be. Oh. By the way, I'm getting to the crucial bit. That, co that concentration actually... face is real, Jazz. <laughs> Just get some. Oh no, it's not good. No, the hair can't fly. Oh. <laughs> Final question, last but not last. <laughs> <laughs> How does it go, Jazz? Save the best till last. Question number six. <laughs> Why did you move to Bali? My little story, two years ago, um, I moved on an internship 
and uh, fell in love with the place to set up my own coaching business at the Health Hunk. Set that up and then ran with it for two years and then ever since I've done, you know, on and off back home to the UK and back to Bali. But the reason why was the energy that attracted me. I felt really at peace at home and vibrated well with all the locals. Um, it's one of the most positive places on the planet. But what's that cross section, Jazz, that the Bali falls on? It's on one of the vortex uh, intersections. Pretty naturally high energy and, and mm. great energy. So mm. that's kind of why I love Bali. The people around me were really positive, optimistic. Mm. I actually have a whole video on my channel uh, about why I moved to Bali, so I'll leave the link in the description box. I've been to Bali around seven, eight times already before for traveling and just fell in love with this place. I definitely believe I have past lives in Bali. I just connect so well with this island, the people, the culture. Definitely is a reason why I believe I was drawn to learn Indonesian during high school and it came so naturally to me. Yeah, I noticed that every time I came to Bali, I felt so happy and things just manifested so quickly for me here. The energy, like Josh said, is something amazing. For, for us, we're both empaths. Our surroundings, our environment matters so much to how we function, really. Our, yeah, and our environment really true. is important for us as empaths. Can I turn on the light? Yeah, let's turn it on. Uh, no, no, no! Oh, sweet! I haven't finished! Oh, sweet! Sorry, I just, just had to play around just to see if it's styled. When you Did have I a haircut, ruin it? you're not meant to touch oh, it. Sorry. Did I ruin it? <laughs> I look like a pineapple head now, <laughs> yes! Oh my kitty girl. I've actually lost a lot of hair here. Feel lighter? Feel lighter, yeah. Okay, so far, try it. What do you think? It's a little sweaty. <laughs> it's quite sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Front of the fringe can stay. I mean, this needs tidying up. It's not real a drastic change, but no change is kind of good because I don't want anyone asking mysterious questions. Like, who cut your hair? <laughs> so, should we call it there? Maybe you need to look into the mirror, it's... not the camera lens. <laughs> <laughs> the chair's wet <laughs> from sweat. Yeah, like this, you've done really good, Jess. We're both sweating like both mad. Both sweating like mad. <laughs> Should we vote below out of 10? How did she do? Should we oh, do let's a twirl? give you a twirl. Ready? Go. I feel like a new man. Thanks, Jazz. That was really careful. Attention to detail is on point. What are three things you're grateful for today? Yeah, let us know in the comment section down below. Your turn. One, two, three. This lovely haircut. The bathroom we're sitting in right now is a shelter and it's you know, a warm space. A comfy bed to sleep in. I'm grateful for you. I did say you, didn't I? I'm grateful for you for being a sunshine. For the clean <laughs> water and food we get to eat. And I'm grateful for freedom to do what I love every day. Plus one, I'm grateful for my family. We're glad that we're alive mm. and living. And see you on the next one. Going on everything we've said, what do we do? We keep it healthy and keep it... Hunky! Hunky. Take and care, jazzy. beautiful soul. Take care, you legends. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. <laughs> your, your turn, Justin. Oh. You can do this one.